A sincere compliment. A simple thank you is all that is necessary. It would make everyone feel a lot better. Of course, self-image manifests itself in the way we handle our personal lives. You tell a youngster with a poor self-image that he ought to stay away from drugs, they'll kill you. And his response, at least internally, many times is, don't tell me that. My friends tell me that they make you feel good, make you feel big. Besides, suppose they're not good for me. What difference does it make? I'm a nothing. I'm a nobody, got nothing to lose. Person with a good self-image would not respond in any such manner. You tell a youngster study for his lessons and obey the law if he's got a poor self-image, many times they're so negative they say it won't do me any good. You know, the deck's already stacked. I came to the wrong side of the tracks. The rich kids are going to get all of their breaks. Why shouldn't I have a little fun right now? You'd say to a youngster with a poor self-image, you really ought to save yourself for marriage. And their instant thinking is, who's going to marry me? What chance have I got? Why not I have a little fun now? That's what it's all about. My peer group tells me I've got to do these things to be accepted. Since I have nothing to lose, why not go ahead? An individual with a poor self-image is jealous without cause. I'm not talking about jealousy for cause. Ladies, if he comes in smelling like joy and lipstick all over his collar, uh, jealousy is not a manifestation of a poor self-image. That has nothing to do with it. But some people say, you know, oh, I just love him so much I can't let him out of my sight. Or I just love her so much I don't want her out of my sight. What they're really saying is I don't understand why this person married me. Roads were made for journeys not destinations. To have what you never had, you have to do what you never did. Kindness is invincible. Marcus Aurelius. Be selfish with your time. Who dares nothing needs hope for nothing. You don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Les Brown. An angry countenance is much against nature, and it is oftentimes the proper countenance of them that are at the point of death. But were it so, that all anger and passion were so thoroughly quenched in thee, that it were altogether impossible to kindle it any more, yet herein must not thou rest satisfied, but further endeavor by good consequence of true ratiocination, perfectly to conceive and understand that all anger and passion is against reason. For if thou shalt not be sensible of thine innocence, if that also shall be gone from thee, the comfort of a good conscience, that thou doest all things according to reason, what shouldest thou live any longer for? All things that now thou seest are but for a moment. That nature, by which all things in the world are administered, will soon bring change and alteration upon them, and then of their substances make other things like unto them, and then soon after others again of the matter and substance of these, that so by these means the world may still appear fresh and new. One more time. Land of the, but the home of the. You might have missed it. You've been singing it for a long time. You're not paying attention. It is definitely the land of the, but it's only the home of the. The American dream is real, but they're not passing it out. They're not giving it away. It's real, but you got to go get it. All right, do me a favor. Let's go. Stop complaining. You don't have time. 168 hours per week, 48 hours at work, 7 hours at the gym, 56 hours of sleep, 65 hours left. You do all of this right here, you still got 65 hours left. Act today, use your time wisely. Mental toughness is about what you do when you're under stress and you're under pressure.
told y'all, Mike Tyson, I've never seen Mike Tyson lose but once, and he lost to a buster. Imagine Mike Tyson, your first loss is to a buster. I want to lose to Zeus, Hercules. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got beat by Hercules. Can't nobody say nothing about that. But you got beat by a buster. And that buster never won another fight. But you know why buster beat Mike Tyson? Because three days before he fought Mike Tyson, his mama was in the beauty salon bragging about how he said to Mike Tyson. Buster Douglas, how did you do it? He said he hurt me when he knocked me down, but that pain I felt when he knocked me down was not greater than the pain I would have felt if I let my mama down. On the great days, be great. And on the bad days, be greater. If the world was blind, how many people would you impress? Early to bed and early to rise in old age makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, a life well-spent brings happy death. Leonardo da Vinci It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. We learn not in school, but in life. All truly great thoughts are conceived while walking. Friedrich Nietzsche, Twilight of the Idols. When someone treats you badly or says bad things about you, Remember that they do or say these things because they think it is appropriate. This is because it is not possible for someone to act on how things appear to you, but on how things appear to them. Accordingly, if someone has a wrong opinion, because this is the person who has been deceived, it is they who suffer the harm. In the same way, if someone supposes that a true conjunction is false, it is not the conjunction that is harmed, but the person who has been deceived. If you proceed, then, from these principles, you will be gentle with the person who abuses you, saying on all such occasions, to them, this is how it seemed. This brings up the possibility of failure. It takes discipline to admit our errors and recognize our limitations. The voice of the human ego speaks to all of us. Sometimes the voice of ego says that we should magnify our value beyond our results. It leads us to exaggerate, to not be totally honest. It takes discipline to be totally honest, both with ourselves and with others. It takes discipline to change a habit. Because habits are formed a little bit each day, every day, every day. Once habits are formed, they act like a giant cable. They act like a nearly unbreakable instinct that only long-term disciplined activity can change. You just got to go home and make a list after today. And here's the question to ask as you make this personal list. What am I not doing that would be easy to do? that could greatly change my health, my wealth. What am I not doing I'm neglecting that would be easy to do? Just go home and answer that question personally. You don't have to put the answers on a public bulletin board. This is just all personal stuff. But here's how you get a miracle going for your life. Number one, do what you can. Get a list of the stuff you could do and you haven't done, postpone, and start cleaning that up. You can't start at a better place for personal change. It'll affect your bank account, affect your future, affect your income, affect everything. You can't start a better life change process than cleaning up what you should be doing. The man says, well, my mother lives down in Florida. Should have written her six months ago. I just can't seem to get that letter written. I'm asking you to get that letter written, clean that up, and don't walk like other people walk. Don't postpone like other people postpone. You say, well, is it as simple as writing?